today we will talking about work energy problems first i will teach you how to solve those issues in a series of steps and then we'll apply those series of steps to the questions and resolve the equations so now first we need to know how to solve the work problems in a series of steps so first step would be to first we need to draw a nice diagram show all the forces acting on the system with vector second Draw the free body diagram for each body in system and show all the forces acting on it by extractor. So now we have to choose the free. We have to choose the bodies in the system and draw a free body diagram of and show all the forces acting with nice vectors. Vectors are important because choose the direction of force. Third step: use Newton law to find any unknown force. Now the third step: once we got free body diagram, we know we can use Newton law and find any unknown forces. Now, apply the below equation for each force acting on the body to obtain the work. Now, once we know the force, then we can apply the below equation. W is equal to F S, which is the vector dot product of force and displacement. This equation can be used to find the work done by the forces. We can simplify this as F W is equal to F S cos theta, where theta is the angle between force and displacement. Calculate the net work done by doing the sum of individual forces. Now, once we know the work done by the each forces on the body, we can calculate the net work done by doing the sum of individual forces. That is, W is equal to W1 plus W2. Work. work done is a scalar quantity, so it can be easily summed. We, there is no need to uh, measure any direction, but it can be positive or negative. It is positive when the force and the displacement are in the same direction, which is negative when the force is acting against displacement. Sometimes the work is not. Uh, sometimes the force is not constant. Then, in that case, work done by a variable force can be obtained using this formula. W is equal to integral of f into dx, where f is a continuous function uh, represented in terms of x. So now we are we are clear with the steps to resolve the work problem. Let's move on to questions. Now, first question is that uh, object of 10 kg is pulled across the flow. A distance 10 meter by horizontal force. The coefficient of friction between the block and flow is 0 0.30. There is no change in speed of body across the motion. Find the work done by the pulling force, find the work done by the frictional forces, and find the net work done. Now, first we need to understand the situation. There is a body gap in the flow and it and it is being pulled by the force for the distance 10 meter. The surface between the block and floor is rough because we have been coefficient of friction and the force due to friction is important here. The coefficient of friction is given 0 0.30 and first and more important it is clearly mentioned there is no change in the speed of the body because the motion. So now we understand the situation let's go over the question. So first step first get a clear picture of the motion. So now we understand the clear picture of the motion. Second step would be to draw the free body diagram of the object and show all the so in this situation the object is act being acted by the two forces. First the pulling force in the direction of motion and the friction force in the direction opposite to motion. Friction force acts because whenever there is a rough surface the intermolecular forces act between the surfaces and that is known as friction. So friction force in the direction acts in the direction opposite to the motion. Now here in this question uh, there is no mention of the pulling force. So we have to find that unknown force. Now it is giving the speed is constant. So that means acceleration is zero. So by Newton's law we know that the resultant force should be equal to MA. Acceleration is the resultant force should be zero. So F should be equal to minus F where F is a frictional force. Now the, we can find the magnitude of friction force using the formula F is equal to mu mg. Mu is the coefficient of friction, mg is the weight of the body which gives F is equal to 13. So force of uh, pulling is 30 Newton. And it, is, it should be very clear that those two forces are equal forces and act in opposite directions. Now, now we know the force, forces on the body. Now let's calculate the work done. So work done by the pulling force will be equal to W1 is equal to Fd cos theta. Here the direction of force and direction of motion is same. So theta is equal to 0. So it will comes to 300 Newton. The force work done by the frictional force here Fd cos theta again 13 to 10 
cos 180 since the direction of friction is opposite to the direction of displacement theta is 180 degree so that comes to minus 300 newton now calculate the net work done net work done is given by w is equal to w1 plus w2 so that means 300 minus 300 that zero so it is very important to note that the net work done on the object is zero but the pulling force has done a work done 300 newton on the body okay let's move on to new question a body of mass m start from engine along x axis by variable force f is equal to ax find the work done by the variable force when it reaches x is equal to 2 now we have a body sitting at the origin and intersected by the force f is equal to ax in the directions we need to find the work done of the variable force when it reaches x is equal to 2 so it's an example of a variable so simple formula like w is equal to fs will not work here so we have to apply the formula of variable force here uh, That formula variable force work done is W is equal to integral of f dot dx. Substituting value of f into this formula, ax dx and integration zero to the we get half a d square.